Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the pleural abnormalities. In that first we will learn some important points about pleura. Pleura is actually the lung is covered by two pleura. So if you see, if this is the lung, the lung is first and foremost it is covered by two layers of pleura. One it has visceral layer of pleura. Second, it has parietal layer of pleura. Visceral layer of pleura is almost encircles the lung like this. So, this is actually visceral layer of pleura. This is visceral pleura. Similarly, then followed by that, we have a parietal pleura. Parietal pleura is above the visceral pleura. And between parietal pleura and visceral pleura, there is a space also. So, this is parietal pleura. So now between this parietal and visceral pleura, we have a space. This is the space which is present between parietal and visceral pleura. And this is actually the pleural space. This is the pleural space. And in this pleural space, we have this pleural space is filled with a lubricating fluid which is pleural fluid. And this will help in expansion of the lung also. Okay, next. Next, in normally, pleura is not visible. Pleura is visible only at two layers. Pleura is visible at lung fissure, number one, and it is visible at a place where both lungs like this, where they are at each other. Then, if you see the, at the fissures, one important thing is at fissures, what happens? At fissures, if you see, we have uh, number one, Parietal pleura and visceral pleura. Think that this is the horizontal fissure of the lung. Okay, this is actually the horizontal fissure of the right lung. This is the left lung. Okay, this is the horizontal fissure of the right lung. Now, the parietal pleura. First, we will see visceral pleura. Okay, the visceral pleura will cover the whole lung like this. We know that thing. And then, what does it do in the fissures? In the fissures, it will cover the fissural opening also, fissures also. Where This is visceral pleura. Whereas, if you see the parietal pleura, parietal pleura will only cover the lung surface. It will not cover the uh, fissures. It will not go into the fissures. Okay, that is the only difference. So, if you see the parietal pleura here, this is the visceral pleura which will cover the lung surface also. This is the which will cover the pleural, you know, fissures also. Whereas this is the parietal pleura which will not go into the fissures. So only the visceral pleura will extend into the fissures. That is horizontal fissures and oblique fissures. Whereas the parietal pleura does not extend into the fissures. Similarly, this is an extent, inferior extent of the posterior pleural space. You, you can see the depth. And also you can see the covering of parietal and discovering of the lung by parietal and visceral pleura. This is again a horizontal fissure and this horizontal fissure as I have already shown it is covered by the visceral pleura but not the parietal pleura. So it is covered by the visceral pleura. And one more thing, one more important thing is that if you see this is the lung, right? we have a fissure right fissure means it is just an empty space like this right okay this is fissure this is upper lobe this is middle lobe this is fissure so the parietal the visceral pleura visceral pleura will come like this it will enter into this fissure and similarly it comes like this and it will enclose the fissure and here this line Sorry, not stroke is it? Uh, segment is it? Yeah, this segment in which you can see. Okay, like this, it has gone into this. Going okay. Now between this two fissures, two layers of the visceral pleura. This is fissure, horizontal fissure, and this horizontal fissure you have this upper lobe, you have lower lobe. Okay, upper lobe is completely enclosed by the uh, visceral pleura. Similarly, lower lobe is also completely enclosed by the visceral. Pleura, whereas both lobes of the lung are enclosed by the parietal pleura. 
but if you actually see the visceral pleura and parietal pleura are not uh, like they are not uh, in contact with each other the parietal pleura is a little away from the visceral pleura that is there is a small space present between the parietal pleura and visceral pleura and this space is actually filled with uh, a lubricating fluid okay this is the lubricating fluid which is filling this and this between these two visceral pleura also the lubricating fluid will travel that is pleural space so this is parietal pleura okay this is visceral pleura and in between we have pleural space which is filled with pleural fluid okay similarly the two layers of visceral pleura are separated in the horizontal fissure by a pleural fluid so here the two layers of visceral pleura are separated by pleural fluid so this is the division of the lung the right lung is divided into three lobes by an oblique and horizontal fissure it is divided into right upper lobe uh, middle lobe and right lower lobe whereas the left lung is divided into left upper and left lower lobes okay this is the main important pleural anatomy thank you for watching